Nigerians joined the rest of the world to observe World Diabetes Day on November 14th. Experts have warned that over 10 million Nigerians are living with the disease, with the numbers expected to double by 2030. They are also warning that the country may not be able to handle diabetic cases as the nation only boasts of just 150 endocrinologists in a population of over 200 million. Trust TV's Aisha Salihu reports. This is Abdullahi Adamu. He inherited the condition from his father and has been living with it for 11 years. He says he has been able to defy the complications of the disease by strictly adhering to medication, dieting and practicing a non-sedentary lifestyle. I was controlling the meal, then at the same time doing the injection. Even though the injection may be once in two, three days. So the diabetes started stabilizing. It started stabilizing, it started stabilizing. But then the food becomes a problem. Well, one thing with diabetic, when it comes, it comes with complication. I was managing it, managing it, managing it. And within our area, we have about five or six people with diabetes. So we started eating together. We started having discussions. When I have take a medicine and it give me a reaction, we now share it within ourselves. So everybody will now bring his own experience. We go exercise the same at the same time. We go and come back, and we now discover that when we go to the exercise and come back, you see, Mr. A, his blood sugar will come back to normal. Mr. B will drop maybe by two, three points. Mr. C, maybe with one point. Affordability of food and medication, especially for patients in rural communities, are major challenges patients face. I cannot afford to buy the, my food. I cannot afford to buy the drugs. These are the major problems for diabetic people. And most of the diabetic food, they are all expensive. So if you, if you are not working, honestly, there's nothing you can do. He appeals for government's intervention through the provisions of subsidized medication. Please, if government can come to the AIDS, get these drugs available in all the hospitals. Give whatever the percentage you feel you want to give. It will go a long way. Diabetes remains a major cause of blindness, kidney failure, heart attacks, stroke, and lower limb amputation. But with the right intervention and treatments, among other management techniques, complications can be avoided. Aisha Salihu, Trust TV News, Abuja.